Let's cover one of the favorite DEXs on Solana. Activity is going back towards DEXs right now, and especially the ones on Solana. The coins are bouncing following quite important correction, but you have to know that these DEXs are very, very young, very early assets, and are just building up, taking users, growing day by day. Therefore, we need to expect quite a bit of volatility. I personally have a position in Orca, not financial advice, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just telling you that we have a great opportunity here of Orca following this correction to acquire some coins at very, very low prices. Yes, we have a resistance coming, but we have stopped the fall and we have a bounce right now. And most probably we're going to trade between $2 and $3.50. We have done already a quite nice bounce, but this coin can recover extremely quickly. So that's why I'm making a video today. We have this triangular structure. Technically, we have the support here around $2.22. We didn't go all the way down to $2. That's okay. The buyers decided to stop the fall at this level and has continued to push the price to the upside. Now the next resistance is at 350. After that, we have the ME200 at 380 and the ME50 also at that level. So either we break this right away or we trade sideways here to be able to break it. Could take a few days, but around this price, I think it's a great opportunity to acquire more Orca coins and build your position. DEXs are being used more and more because of the low fees, because of the easy of use on the Solana blockchain. Once you are part of the ecosystem, it's extremely easy to change Solana to Orca or, or, or Solana to any of the assets that Orca has available to purchase. Low fees, extremely quickly transactions, and also quite secure. Therefore, it's a no-brainer that these DEXs are going to grow and the associated coin will also grow. So the coin is up almost 13% today. Bitcoin also is pushing upwards, so it's pulling a lot of coins right now. Not all of them, but the ones that move with small increments of Bitcoin are the strongest ones. And even the ones that move up while Bitcoin corrects are even stronger. So you just have to follow these assets. I'm sharing right now the Orca chart because it's an asset that we know has been traded up to $9 already. So buyers are willing to go that high and beyond, in my opinion. And also the Solana ecosystem is strong. The bull run, we're in the middle of it. We're far from the top. So the risk is low and the opportunities of making great returns are high. That's the whole purpose. We don't have to uh, have like tons of reasons for it, but I have conviction on a few assets and Orca is one of them when it comes to altcoins. Keep in mind that this upwind movement for the next year and a half, it's only linked to the pool of Bitcoin. We are not in alt season. So when alt season goes, the leaders, previous leaders for the previous year will perform extremely well. And I believe Orca is one of them. On the weekly chart, we see that structure, that triangular structure. And we also see that we have broken the MA50 on the weekly. So it's a strong support. So chances of correcting back are slim in my opinion. We almost touched $2 with those wicks, but we didn't. And now we're charging upwards again. And you saw here how we went from $1 to $9 in straight in a straight line without any uh, red candles in a matter of weeks for Orca. This can happen again, and we could go much higher. I hope you enjoyed these videos. There are more Orca updates here. You can actually look at also other assets, including Solana. Find the ones that you like, and if you don't have the asset that you would like me to cover, just let me know. Happy trading, happy investing, and enjoy the post-having period
for 2024.